Gemini's welcome back to the channel it's going to be your next 12 hours um, welcome back you guys thank you for clicking on this video the breeze is blowing I hope that it stays like this um, this is a beautiful day in Atlanta and yeah I'm not at my my own space of course I don't have my my own tools to work with you know the readings but I do have a couple of things I have a tarot deck I have you know the white deck here so we're going to just um, pull some cards for the next 12 Scorpio energy got really deep for those of you who are with a Scorpio and might want to check that out for the next 12 um, we're just gonna do a one card swatch so it's not gonna be a, a long video for those of you I'm just you know tapping into energies yesterday I did not do any readings because I just didn't feel like doing it y'all I felt like my body just needed to ray and I was just like, you know what, just relax, right? And today I'm taking it easy. I'm diving in for whatever, the, um, but I'm not going to channel, what is it? Cha oh my God. I'm not going to challenge the, the spirit, the Holy Spirit, because, and, and clarify anything. I just want them to just guide me through whatever we're going to get, right? So let's just see let's just tap into that the vibration all right and see what we have for you beautiful beautiful gemini's so if this does resonate go ahead and like the video but all the information for personal readings will be in the description box below oh this just feels so good my nose is a little stuffy because i don't know the weather is changing here the, the leaves are already falling off of the damn trees y'all what the hell um, it's just changing y'all it's changing here and it's only what what are we at August and it it's already changing but it's still hot but you could just tell it's that that point where the the leaves are getting really crispy and dry like I walked out my house today and I saw leaves all over the, the lawn and I was like what <laughs> I was like where did this come from but there were dead leaves so leaves are already falling off the trees and it's not because of the weather like they're changing color but it's like it's a process right so i'm like damn why can't we have like a like all year round summer you know but let's just tap into it a lot of people went back to school too i saw the kids i'm like damn still summertime <laughs> All right, I might just wipe my nose a lot in this. I'm just letting y'all know. TMI, 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 period. Y'all know how I do. These, this, this runny nose. This, you know, what is it? Acid reflex um, that messed up my my nostrils. And I think it's not only that, you guys. I really think that I have allergy problems as well because your girl have these times when I be sneezing like nonstop. But I um, it's getting better now. But it's like, oof. It's crazy and it happened like twice a month or something like that it's just it's like non like sneezing straight 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 but I realized as soon as I turn, turn 20, 30 years old y'all like things have just changed my body like my body is just not the same as I've turned 30 comment below if you guys are going through the same thing like things are just different you know um, you're just gaining more weight you're, you're just slowing down i'm like how long do i have to stay in the gym how long do i <laughs> when i was young i didn't have to stay in the gym so it's crazy all right let's just see what we have for you Ooh, look at this angel of risk Ooh, so the angel of risk is coming up because for you gemini's i just feel like the angel is like you need to make you need to take risk you need to live a little you know you need to um start something or come out of your comfortable like your your comfort zone this is what i'm hearing like it's not what you think this is what i'm getting a lot of you want to start a business or whatever this is but you're afraid you're living in fear so this angel is coming up the angel of risk because ooh, i got two messages the angel of mixed emotions too is on this side and then the angel of risk is on that side so wow um yeah like you're going back and forth within yourself about the situation that you want to do i feel like a lot of you want to change something about your life but you just don't know so you have a mixed emotions about that 
So there's like two angels trying to work something out with you right now. This is what I'm seeing here. That's what I'm picking up. Tell me more. The angel of setback. So you're planning something. This is what I'm getting. Like you're planning something in the next 12. And something is always coming up as you're planning this. But they're saying to take a risk. I'm feeling like what's going on is like the angels are like trying to let you know or the universe is trying to let you know gems that everything is taken care of for you already. Like you don't need to worry about this. You're thinking too much into this. You're not trusting in the divine's love and um, the spirit, you know, that everything that they, they haven't forgot about you. Like they whatever you have asked from from them has already been taken care of. Um, OK, so I got a message, a whole read here. OK. I got emotional when I think of you with someone else. So somebody said, I get emotional when I think of you um, with someone else. So obviously, this could be your energy that you need to, to do something new with your life. You're going through a transition as a, of a breakup with somebody at the moment. And you're still thinking about this person because I feel that this is you. Like you're thinking about someone and you're wondering if this person have moved on with someone else and it's gonna hurt you because you were deeply into this person and I'm seeing a risk like a lot of you this trans oh my god this transition happened and you want to to do something you don't want to be here anymore you don't want to be where you are in that situation anymore even though you love this person, but you cannot sit around and watch this person move on with somebody else because this is what it feels like is going to be the, going to be happening because your intuition is telling you and warning you like, hey, this is going to occur. This is going to happen, you know, and um, I'm feeling like you want to make plans to move. You want to make plans to leave. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Wow, there's a lot of angels coming up. I mean, I have a whole bunch of cards here, an angel of right path. So you're on the right path, you guys. You're on the path of gold. Anytime I see anything about path, I just know that you're on the path to victory. For those of you who need to hear it. Because I feel like with this situation that have happened in your life, you're feeling like this person have took you off of your path. You feel like this person have took you into a situation that kind of slowed up the, the things that you want for yourself. And... I'm being told that you're on the right path. You're still on the right path here. You're not off, off course. This is just something that you need to experience within your journey, okay? Of becoming. So, tell me more, Holy Spirit. Wow, a third party made me do it. A third party. The third party made me do it. A lot of you could have cheated. I don't know. Or they cheated. But they're saying the third party made me do it. So this person could have cheated on you with someone. And whatever happened between you and this person. And you knew it because you're going through a separation. Everything nature is so loud right now. <laughs> it's like they're singing. You know the angels. Yes. yes. Tell them. Tell them. Okay, okay, I'm gonna tell them right now. Um, I'm hearing that you guys broke up or this person like broke up with you, okay? And you always wondered if this third party made you do, if this third party had something to do with it to make this person break up with you. And yes, they're saying the third party made me do it. Right there. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Angel of emotions keeps coming up. I got two of these because mixed emotions oh so you're going back and forth within your energy and you're like having a lot of emotional breakdown right now so you have a whole bunch of angels around you Ooh, one two three four five you're going through a really hard breakup right now separation with this energy that's coming up in the next 12 look at that angel of karma but you have favor beyond the angels like you have favor with the holy spirit the holy spirit have been watching over you that's the first person you're going to see when you go to the spiritual realm is the holy spirit okay Ooh. i'm running y'all have to do it 
all right um because i feel like that's what the case is because you're just so blissed oh my god you're just so blessed and this person knows it and they kind of like something about this person's energy like is letting me feel like they had to do this they had to tear you down they wanted to because you're so every time they look at you they see the sun they see that you are just this like fuel like they need to fuel themselves with you like but they're not choosing you though okay thank you thank you holy spirit i'm being told that they're not choosing you but they need your energy they need your light they need your bliss they need your joy they need your happiness oh okay judgment is here look at that judgment is here this person is gonna have to learn this person is being taught oh lord this person is being taught queen of pentacles you're gonna be secure in life and this is why you're on the journey to greatness to security so i'm seeing that you're gonna have responsibilities a lot of you could be a single mother or a father a lot of feminine energy here so you're home taking care of things the three of wands energy as well someone is watching you because they want to come back so they're saying the third party let me do it but this is not what they wanted to do they don't have a mind of their own they're codependent this person that you're with this is not this is not who you should be with they're not strong enough for you Tom will tell all tales because I'm seeing that they're coming towards you. Okay. They're coming towards you. All right. Tell me more. Holy Spirit. Six of Pentacles. They want to give you back something. Yeah, they want a new beginning. So they're coming towards you for the right reasons. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I just needed to clarify that. I wasn't going to clarify anything, but I just wanted to see what coming after that. Because the chariot is a good card. But sometimes when the chariot comes to you, the chariot is about success. You know, in the end, it's like success. But the chariot is coming to you with this emotional, this feeling, this love, right? Um, knowing that they, this is who they want to be with. But sometimes with the chariot, it could be baggage behind the chariot as well. It could be a lot of things that they left behind that is going to follow them. It could be things that are going to make things difficult for you and for them. Um, so I'm feeling like when I clarified the chariot, I saw like the six of pentacles. I saw the ace of wands. And this is going to happen very quickly, by the way, with this person coming to, to you. Because I feel like this person like learned whatever they learned. They needed this they needed this transition they needed this wake-up call because they learned something from this situation and they're coming towards you with good things so i feel like this message um in the next 12 this person is coming and you needed to know if it, if you should if you should be with this person because you're having mixed emotions right you're going back and forth a lot of you want to move a lot of you want to do things for yourself you don't know if you should or, or you shouldn't you know this person and you had very much a lot of plans together and this is a setback this is a setback because this person did what they did and they're putting it on somebody else's um you know one thing i don't like is that i'm getting like this person is not taking responsibility they're saying the third party made me do it the third party made me do it codependency no one can let you do something no one can let you do something you always have a choice so even when you have a gun to your head, you still have a choice. And I don't want to say it like that, but it is what it is, right? So for this person to say that the third party made me do it, the coward. Coward. But this is what I have for you. <laughs> don't come for me, y'all. I just like to let you guys know what I feel about the cards. But, you know, at the end of the day, you're going to have to make your own decisions. And I'm seeing like you are so protected. It's like your ancestors on the other side are just like putting in prayer for you even though you feel like you have prayed for your ancestors because they passed away in a in a horrible way here in the physical realm they probably was in a car accident or somebody got killed or something like that you know but that's just how you know i'm just like don't don't think i'm saying that on sensitive because i lost a family member she got shot her boyfriend killed her you know my aunt and she died at 37 and that was like the one that kept our family together so i'm saying this like in the physical realm things happen that we look like on the on, in the physical realm it looks so horrible 
but in the spiritual realm is and, and it's like oh my god she we they passed and they didn't give themselves to god or you know, no god judged them based on this their heart you know doesn't matter what they were doing in this physical realm that's why i tell people don't ever judge other people because if your heart this is where you're going to be judged by in the bible it even says that you're not going to be accepted by the word because you know the word. You couldn't have this whole Bible here and you know one every part of the Bible. You think that's going to put you, you think you're going to go to heaven because of that? No. You have to be pure in heart like Jesus is. He was, it, just imagine somebody being that, and don't, don't, uh, I know I'm doing readings, but I got so much to tell y'all. Like sometimes I just want to sit with y'all and talk to y'all, you know? <laughs> But because some people just don't understand. Look how, look how, for example, how I'm just going to bring Christ in here. Okay. The Holy Spirit is his father, right? The one that I, you know, asked to give me all these messages, the, you know, the, the boss man, right? But Christ, you know, is a, a fixture of us, of a, you know, human body, everything that came into this world and lived as us. And look how horrible this not horrible but 50 50 not even 50 50 y'all i'm gonna say 60 horrible and 40 percent good this world right <laughs> we got so much going on up in here right so imagine somebody coming out somebody so pure after they've been called a witch because of course jesus had abilities like us they jesus could see the future he could you know um, he could bring people back to life. That's, you know, for some people, that's witchcraft. Oh my gosh. He could heal people, right? Witchcraft. Um, right? Um, he could walk on water. Witchcraft. It's like, you know, he was being judged, right? In so many ways. And because he didn't want the power of being called king or anything like that, because he believed the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, okay? What we call upon as readers to give us messages for you is king. And he is, right? <laughs> he is. He created everything on this earth. Everything, these trees, these birds, us, everything that we are sitting on, everything that we are living in, everything that we got on right now, everything that even this, oh my God, this phone that I'm recording, it's like, wow, right? So, and he was just bullied and he was just challenged and he was just like, they took his life and at the end of all of that, beaten beaten and a regular person would be like hell nah i do what you want me to do because i ain't gonna get beat for these folks but this man died for us this man sacrificed his life for us that's why i do not judge anybody i don't care what you got going on don't judge and all these christians out here <laughs> Me and my mom was just sit, sitting down talking about that. The church is a great place to meet friends and stuff like that, but that's the, the place of judgment. They're acting like they're God, like they're judging, like they're, you're, you're saying that place will make you come off your path. You know, I'm not saying they're all like that because there is some kind of, I feel not, not pastors or anything. I'm talking about bishops, you know, and um, um, not even priesthood, but bishops. I feel like I feel like they're more uh, experienced per se if I'm wrong comment down below but I just feel like when they preach or something like that they give you they're more acceptable to things that are around you like the older the older uh, not even the older beliefs but it's something about them that I just feel like I relate to the most because they know that this, these are not top back in the day times everything is changing people are changing like the world is shifting this world is shifting and i cannot wait till we see the glory of how beautiful everything is going to to be because we're all here to save 
humanity that's why that's what our purpose is and i always tell y'all to like choose love over fear choose love over fear when somebody gets you pissed and i'll go through it too like people be trying me <laughs> but sometimes we just gotta let that go and just be like i know you're not mad at me i know that something is going on with your life but i'm i, I let me just let you know i do understand but at the same time we have to love each other right and it's hard for us to say that but it's true and that's why we're here to like nurture and care for and love each other because we're all connected one fail we all fail right one fail we all fail so when we look at somebody that is that killed somebody or you know i'm not giving that person the right to do that there is never a, a, any right form of um there's nothing right about that okay to take somebody's life to get to that mental level and to do that it's it's crazy um even when you're trying to protect yourself into this age right everybody has weapons to protect themselves and even that is to get yourself there to take somebody's life is it's, it's a lot <sighs> but where was i going with this i just have I, i'm a scorpio i have so much to say <laughs> So much to say y'all i don't know your reading just got me in a crazy mode right now talking to y'all okay don't come for me in the comment section okay i just i have to talk to y'all sometimes i don't know i just do um but it is what it is y'all i think i need to start vlogging <laughs> i think i need to stop vlogging with y'all because not on this channel i have another channel that i used to vlog on but i don't do that no more but i need to start because obviously i have so much to say i have so much to say y'all like girl get it together can you just this is a reading channel how am i here why am i still here listen to you oh my god i know i know i wouldn't even blame y'all if y'all had something to say in the comments i wouldn't even blame y'all i love y'all either way because y'all my brothers y'all my sisters y'all my best friend we have the same daddy okay we do we have the same person who made us you know we just look differently just like that movie the little mermaid with the father right <laughs> and all those um what is it ariel's brothers and sisters they all look different right but we still together we still one. that's the same thing the holy spirit made us and we all from him we are all his children we're these we're a small spirit compared to his beautiful light you know the light is so beautiful and loving and full of love it's like he has love for everybody like there is no favorite could you just imagine like you feel so much about yourself because you're set, you're at a low vibration in this body in this world but your father looks at you like oh my god you're so perfect even when you're at this lowest vibration you're still so perfect to your to your father so clap yourselves on the back you know for those of you that are going through so much and going through so much transitions and dealing with depression i have depression my mother has depression you know she has a testimony that maybe one day she will share on her channel but she's been through so much um and so a lot of my family members did it's like we st we signed up for a lot of adversities within our contracts but lucky thing for me I don't know where my depression came from. I feel like it's like morely in my genetics, like because my father's side have depression and my mother's side clearly has depression. So I, I just fell right into it. Um, and it's crazy. But yeah, sometimes I get out of it. I'm a Scorpio too. And, and plus I have this ability. So it's like I like I told y'all, like sometimes I have to like take it easy with um, what, what is it? personal readings because I your energy especially if you're going through a lot I feel it throughout the day I feel you throughout the day even though I cleanse my area and I cleanse my body and I remove remove it but I still feel you you know so I have to take it easy sometimes and especially when I do readings like this you know that's why I be stopping sometimes enough is enough y'all I'm, I'm gonna stop right here and then start up again because I don't need that energy to um, stay with me. And sometimes that's why readers just do one videos a month because they can't do it. It's like, especially if they're cancer vibes. And I just found out, y'all, I thought I was a Sag by the horizon, but I'm a cancer. <laughs> 
I'm gonna cancel. So I'm gonna start doing cancels back on the job. I don't know. Oh no. I can't believe that. I couldn't believe that. I'm a cancer rising, y'all. Could y'all believe it? I'm emotional. Like, really? I feel like I, I, I don't get along with cancers. No shades to those who are cancers, but I just don't get along with them. And I'm a water placement. I'm a Scorpio. But, um, oh, my nose is running, y'all. I'm, I'm a grossing y'all out, I know. But anyways, why am I talking to y'all all this time on this channel? I don't even know if I'm going to put this up, but if I do, just give me a heart emoji down in the comment section. <laughs> Love y'all, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.